Hey guys, pretty new to this YouTube thing. I figured I'd make a video about trucking. Being a lot of people say um, there's no money in trucking anymore. You just gotta know where to look for your loads. Get some experience before you um, go out there and do it on your own. Get good equipment, good mechanics. And don't listen to the people that say you have to fix your own trucks because I've been out here quite a few years. Been doing it for 29 years. I started out as a Teamster when I was 21 years old in New York City for Local 282. And then um, I decided to go on my own, opened up a couple of different businesses. I started with towing, bought my first Peterbilt in uh, 1997. And uh, here we are in 2021 with some ups and downs and bumps and bruises along the way, learning curves. Um, I just went out and bought my first brand new tractor uh, 2021 Freightliner 122 SD. It's a uh, it's a pretty truck. Does the same job any Peterbilt or Kenworth will do. And uh, it's about 20 grand cheaper. I did a lot of homework. Um, and here we are. I'm out in Kentucky right now. Um, still from New York and um, you know we're just uh, making the best money we can with uh, what we have to do during the pandemic so you got to capitalize on your loads try not to deadhead too much make positive decisions don't make any rash decisions think about what you're doing before you do it sometimes you gotta take a gamble those people who say that you need a mechanic or you have to be a mechanic to uh, be in the trucking industry Man, that's not true. Have yourself a good mechanic on the side that's not going to rape you. And shit will get done. Currently running two trucks. I got a day cab and I just got this uh, freight liner here with a sleeper on it. I'm on my way out to Illinois to have an APU put on it because I didn't buy it with one on it because the dealer wanted too much money. So, um... I saved myself about five grand there, and I'm making money on the way out to Illinois. The, uh, I did three loads already from New York. Dropped one in Tennessee, picked one up in Tennessee, dropped that in Tennessee, picked one up in Tennessee, and dropped it in Kentucky. And now I'm deadheading about 90 miles away to um, Marion, Illinois, to get the APU put on. And then uh, from there, I'm going to deadhead to um, Evansville, Indiana, and pick up a load coming back to my hometown. So, um, you know, it can be done. You just got to know where to look, get on the load boards. Um, don't do anything cheap. You know, a lot of, a lot of freight brokers are out there trying to get stuff done for nothing. And they're putting all the profits in their pocket. And uh, their overhead is a, a laptop and a phone. We have insurance, maintenance, fuel, breakdowns. Um, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff, man. Food on the road, your showers. Um, you know, all that comes into play. So... Um, you know, if you name your price, stick with your price. Don't drop it. You know, if you want to drop it, maybe 50 bucks to get that load. If that's what the, the uh, bro broker wants to do. You know, 50 bucks is fine. You're not going to become rich over 50 bucks. But 
You know, if you're bidding on something for a thousand dollars and a broker says, "Oh, hey, uh, we just ran that load last week for two hundred dollars or you know four fifty, man, don't do it because most likely they're full of crap. So, but hey, um, go out there, take chances, man. You don't need to be a company driver your whole life. I'm definitely one to uh, to look at and say, hey, you know, I made it. You know, I'm out here, I, I bust my ass. I got a very supportive wife, two kids, and, um, you know, hey, that's what you need, right? Good support system, so. Um, I'm home mostly every day. The only reason why I'm actually out on the road is for this APU. Otherwise, I'll do a, uh, a night out here and there, but uh, I'm not living on the road. So you don't need to be an OTR trucker to make money. And, um, you know, whether you're on the road or a local driver, you're probably going to make about the same money by the time you're done spending all your fuel and everything like that. And, uh, you know, your showers and food and stuff on the road. So, you know, you make... Um, 3500 to 5000 a week being local or you know 4500 to 5500 being OTR it's the same thing you just got to know your your freight and your rates and uh, you know you'll get it done so don't be afraid to ask any questions I'm here I'll be more than happy to help all you new guys no question is a stupid one just ask away that's how you learn. So, peace out, and we'll see you on the next one. Hope this helps you.